Okay, I've got to fill in these spaces. And how do you cut these without it, with it and keep it straight? Okay, how do you get a straight cut out of that? Well, I'm going to show you the technique for cutting it on your saw and maintaining a nice straight edge when you're done on this custom niche shelving. All right. Okay, now to get a nice straight edge on this, okay, what you need is a piece of cardboard. Now this happened to be a piece of cardboard that came off the tiles, all right? So you just put your cardboard here, okay? Line this up, and we're gonna get this cut. See that pencil line there? I'll show you right now. All right, here we go. Okay, nice straight edge. All right. I'm going to have to cut that bit off right there. Okay, we've got this piece here cut. All right. And that's going to work. Now, the next thing is I got to get this cut here. Now, what do we need to do? We need to find center, all right? So, what do we do? We pull, we know that the opening is seven and a half, because we know from side to side, we've got a total of a 15 inch opening, all right? So, half of 15 would be seven and a half. Okay, we see 15, now we come to center, and we will find Seven and a half. Now I have this pencil line down. All right, right here is seven and a half. All the way back. Okay. Okay, now we take the speed square. All right, and I line it up. Where I make my mark here. All right. We want this pencil line just in front of that speed square. All right. Now, we mark along the edge of the speed square. Okay, then on the back of the wall. All right, we mark up here and we get this marked to this point. Okay, now we got the bottom marked. Now, the next thing I do is you can use a piece of tile, all right. I can take this piece of tile, all right, line it up here with this mark here at the bottom, and then scribe up, okay? And then we have that there. Now I want to take it up even further. So I can take this, all right, you see it's above, and I'll line it up with this edge right here, and then we will mark and we'll bring it on up. All right, you might be asking, what's the need for this, all right? Get that right here where we want it. Okay, and then we just mark. All right. All right, I've marked it all the way up, okay? Now, you might say, Ken, what are you doing that for? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Take this, raise this up, and then we can find center right there now that's the purpose of that all right and now all we got to do is double check measure from one side the left side over to the center line the right side over to the center line and match it up with this with this center line here and everything lines up to center and that's how you lay that out it don't have to be difficult all right but when you don't know it's difficult Kind of like riding a bike. No one's everything. Okay. Okay, you might be asking, why is it so important for this to be center? 
Now we have these ends we need to cut, all right? We want these as close to the same as possible. So here we have an inch and a half. And over here we have an inch, I'm moving it, and a half. All right, and that's why we do it center. Okay, if it was off by an eighth on either side or three sixteenths, you know, eight, eight, and eight to a sixteenth is okay. Um, if indifference, all right. So that's your air room of error is a sixteenth to an eighth. Okay, after you get it in center where you want it, all right. Now let's trace this out. All right, now you see, there we go. All right, because you will have thin set here on here, and this will give you exact. Now, also for taking your measurements, all right, you could get it center, come across here. All right. There you go. Now we can even come across the top, but that isn't really necessary. Okay, now, see, there we go. It's all traced out. Okay. Now it kind of goes together like a puzzle. Okay, now I have these pieces here to cut. And uh, the sides, We'll put the top in, we'll put the back in, we'll put the top in, and we'll put the sides in and fill in with the these pieces that we have to cut, all right, to go in for the fill. So stay tuned and um, let me know what you think. This is the custom bathroom niche. All right. Okay, the last time I mixed, I had water in the bucket first. Put your powder in there first, then add a little water as a, at a time. I'm just going to mix up a very small batch here. All right. And uh, this is just for the, the sides and the back and the top. All right. You can always make up more, okay? Now, you could take a measuring cup, you know, and, and but that's not reality in most cases, all right? So this is what you wanna do. All right, it's a little bit more water. This is where you gotta be careful, because I just want just enough, so if I'm not mixing up too much, wasting your thin set, all right, last time I made 10 times too much, all because I put the water in first. So learn from my mistake. Learn it here so you don't have to. Okay, as you see, this is getting to a pretty good consistency. All right. A little bit more water and we'll be good. All right, and I just put a little bit of water in the bucket I'm pouring it in. Okay, and uh, this looks like it's probably going to be about right. Eh, maybe a little too thin, just a tad. Okay, because we because we're sticking it also on the top. Um, so I'm going to add just a small amount here okay here we go now a lot of thicken it up
there we go. That's a good consistency. And uh, maybe a little bit more. We're going to test it out here in just a second. Okay, is it going to hang? That's dropping pretty good. So I would say that's going to work. All right. Good consistency. All right, we're going to take this. It's not running off. I turn it to the side and it's slowly falling off. So I would say that would be good. It could be a little bit thicker, just a little bit. Okay, how do I transfer this line to here? All right, I'm going to show you how to transfer that line to this point. All right, that way we can find center and know that we're right on center. I want to take this torpedo level, all right, and I'm going to bring it over to this line, right to that edge of that line. All right, there it is, right there on that edge. And then next, I'm going to get the level. This is called leveling up. All right, now we're leveling up, so we're gonna, all right, get this zoomed. Okay, now we know that, that it's level. All right, so there we go. All right, now it's gonna get perfect. There's perfect right there. All right, and then I'm going to mark it. Bam. Okay, so that's in line with the bottom here. The center. All right, which goes the back of that wall. And then... All right, so everything is aligned. There it is, all right. And that's how you do that. It's called leveling up for those that don't know. All right, if you know, not a big deal. It's when you don't know. Okay, this is a factory bullnose, all right. And for being a frame, to frame out this opening, all right, this is a little narrow, a little wide. I need it a little bit narrow. So I will show you how I'm going to create this. There's the factory bull nosing right there. All right. That's what it looks like on a side view. All right. I'm trying to catch the right angle so you can see it. But it ends. See, it come around, comes around so that it ends at the corner. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to create a, a round over on this side like I've done with the others. And so I will be showing you how to do this in the next video. Um, so stay tuned. We'll be making this trim and I'll show you how to do that how to do a round over uh, on this next video. So stay tuned. Thank you for being here. If you haven't liked, like, subscribe, comment, share, add to a playlist. And thank you for being a part of my community. For those that who are who are already in my community, and thank you for your time and for your support. So have a great day. Bye for now and we'll catch you on the next one. And never give up because there's always a way.